know? Yeah, we know. All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakat Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out here talking in this truth. I'm Pataka Moth, Jim S. Dallas. Mafia. And we're just coming to you with a with a, a quick lesson, man. Uh, I think we're going to entitle this. Uh, what was it? The end. Uh, the the end is not uh, not yet, but surely it will surely come. The end is not yet, but it's surely going to come, man. And we're close, man. You know what I'm saying? If, if and if you uh, if you're paying attention to all the things that's going on in the world right now, man. You know, prophecy is is coming to pass like like wildfire right now man right. We, we're we're like what less than a week into the so-called new year which we know this isn't the real new year you know it's not until around march but according to this society we're in the so-called new year and from day one you know prophecies have been popping off man you know what i'm saying and it's been and and every day after that some major events have been happening man you know we've got trump over there in iran you know uh, and now they're shooting missiles back and forth you know what I'm saying? So you got wildfires in the in the earth. You know, Europe, I think a, like a half a billion animals, you know, got put is has been put to death by fire, by way of fire, you know, and then you got famine and pestilence uh, uh throughout the earth. I think China right now, there's some a mysterious uh, disease over there, you know, putting people to, you know, get in the hospital and getting them sick. And then you have down in the Pacific and, and over there, you know, all through Asia and down there in the Pacific Islands. You know what I'm saying? You got certain uh, diseases and pestilences, which th those things are happening here in, in, in over in, in America as well, man. You know what I'm saying? So the prophecies are, are, are coming to pass, but, you know, there's still things that have to happen, man. You know what I'm saying? So, so, hey, brothers, just, hey, we're in beautiful times. As the scriptures say, the, the, the prophets and righteous men, uh, 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 what is that where it says they, they, they uh, wanted to see what, what our eyes see and, and, and uh, you know, hearing what, hear what our ears see. But, you know, hey, we're we're in these times, man. We should, of course, through the spirit, we know those men are back, man. You know what right. I'm saying? Because right. reincarnation, they're, they're seeing it, but we they just don't, you don't realize your past lives. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to remember it. So, so uh, technically, those men are seeing it, but uh, they don't realize that they're seeing it because they don't know who they are. That's right. So, uh, but these things are going to come to pass, man, and it's going down. So, so without any further ado, man, we're just going to jump into the scriptures, man, and, and, and you know, uh, bring this thing out. So, where you want to start? Uh, actually, got Matthew, quick when you was talking, uh, okay, you was going into, uh, you know, like we saying, we out here prophesying. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we in the through, it's through the spirit, all right. Uh, and I got a quick one here. It says um, Revelations nineteen and ten. It says, and I fell at his feet and worshipped him. And he said unto me, See, thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, mm -hmm. and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahabashim Yahweh Shai for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And that's where we're in. And what we're seeing as uh, the priest was going into, uh, the, we're seeing wildfires like in Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, we're seeing, like I said, the wars and rumors of wars. We're going into uh, America, Iran, you know. Uh, and you know they have allies, you know what I'm saying. Uh, so they have on, on two different sides, so adversaries. We were starting to see that. Right. And we're in that spirit of prophesying because this is actually prophecy that we're seeing coming to the fold. All right. Uh, like say, this is a, a big deal when you pursue up into Ezekiel 38. Mm -hmm. All right. But um, I can uh, go ahead and grab. Uh, let, let me get oh, this real quick. Just to, just to lay on back off of what, what, what the priest said. This is Sirach, Ecclesiastes Sirach, chapter 39 and verse 1 because it's all about prophecy. That's right. Because as he just read, Yahweh is the spirit of prophecy, man. So if you're not dealing with prophecy, you, the most I ain't dealing with you, man. That's it, you know? Right, right. This is uh, Sirach, Ecclesiastes Sirach 39 and 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and is occupied in the meditation thereof, which the elect is, mm -hmm. that's the elect all day, you know what I'm saying? Will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecy. Right. So you're gonna be occupied in prophecy. If you're a man, of, if you're a true man of the Lord, you're claiming that. Then you're gonna be about the prophecies, man. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be hard out here on your watch, and you're gonna be paying attention. You're gonna be filtering things through the scriptures, man, mm -hmm. to see where where we are. Because as it says in uh, was that uh, Second Ezra the ninth chapter? You know, measuring the time exactly. diligently mm -hmm. in itself. You know what I'm saying? And that's going to show you where we are in the prophecy. We don't know, of course, uh, uh, the, the exact uh, 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 day and time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Only right. the Lord knows. But that's why he told us to watch, man. Be on your watch. He says, watch as well as pray, man. Because 
uh, uh, that way we'll, we'll, we'll have an idea. We may not know exactly pinpoint exact when, but we'll have an idea, you know, we're, when, you know, when as vicinity of these things happening, man, you know, by way of the scriptures, the prophecies, man, you know what I'm saying? The signs and different things that the Lord told us to look out for, man. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you, you got something else? Uh, quick, uh, quick one, because uh, like okay. I say, these things, you know, like I said, the Lord is setting us up as watchmen. We're mm -hmm. starting to see the prophecies uh, flowing through and through. Mm -hmm. And in these times, if you're not spiritually, uh, you know what I'm saying, and inclined, mm -hmm. you know, you're going to go through a lot of uh, things that's going to bug you out. Mm -hmm. You know, back in the time in uh, Egypt, you know what I'm saying, the Lord did some 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 terrible things to the Egyptians, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can't even in the uh, wilderness uh, when, when uh, he, you know when uh, uh, Israelites were going off in the wilderness. What did he do? He had snakes to go bite him in one uh, uh, event. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is that is some uh, that that we you have to basically prepare yourself for. Mm -hmm. We got we, this is going to be the worst time that we're going to see on upon the face of the earth. Right. Uh, so I wanted to bring this out. Uh, Isaiah 33 and 6, it says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our, thy times and strength of our salvation. All right. The fear of Yahweh Bashim Shai is his treasure. And that's his treasure. And, uh, and that's the beginning of uh, wisdom is fear of, of uh, Yahweh. All right. So we got to get, you know, we got to be prepared spiritually because the thing is, we're going to start seeing things that's going to bug a lot of people out. All right. When people starting to bug out now, with uh -huh. the, you know, was hearing about the, the, the wars and rumors of wars right con, now. Con, con. Yep, that's right. I go ahead. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna start at uh, Habakkuk two. Con. Uh, I'm gonna start at the top. It says, "I will stand upon my watch, and set me upon the tower, and will watch to see that he will what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved." All right, and uh, like I said, he's saying uh, he's setting us uh, on on the watchtower. Okay, mm -hmm. you know we're the watchmen of the heavenly Father. Okay, and what we do, we go on the highways and byways. We go into the altar and we we say it out loud and we, we pronounce you know what's going on through through the Spirit and through prophecy. Mm -hmm. uh, verse two it says, and Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it. And that's exactly what we're doing, man. We're writing a vision, man. And how do how do we write that vision and make it to, to make it plain on tables is to, to make it plain to you people, you know, what we're seeing, man, right. by way of the prophecies which are in the scriptures, man. You know, we watch we watch the uh, the, the news, the different uh, underground news sources and uh, uh, the articles, you know, and, and line it up and filter it through the scriptures. And we present it to you people, man. That's how we're writing it a plane upon tables and, 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 and making that, that vision clear to you people, man. What, what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is trying to tell you, man. You know what I'm saying? And what did it, it say? What in about one? It, what it says, read that again. Huh. Time for me. It says, um, and <coughs> how, and uh, Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables mm -hmm. that he may run that readeth it. That he may run that readeth it. And that's what we're doing, man. We're running, you know, just like those, uh, 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 what was what's the back in the day? Well, uh, the red coats are coming. The records, you know, one of the people, messages, yeah. right? It was yeah. That messenger, man, you know, that's on and, he, and he's trying to warn the people. The red coats are coming. That's what we're doing, man. Mm -hmm. We're those. We're running, and and, and 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 by way of the prophecies and lining everything up through 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 the uh, uh, from the news articles and things that we watch. Uh, and filtering that through the scriptures, we're running and telling you people making that vision plain on upon these ta upon tables, man. That's what we're doing, man. We're presenting the prophecies uh, uh, to you people, man, and telling you what the Lord is trying to say, man, what he's about to do. That's right. You know? So, yeah, that's the, that's the okay. gospel. That's the good news. Right. You come, know, that we're out here uh, uh, pronouncing and saying out loud. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, But it's only good news for the elect, man. That's right. You know, it's going to be bad news for you nations, man. If you're outside of the elect and even two-thirds of Israel, man. That's bad. It's going to be bad news for you, man. That's right. That's why the scripture is saying Amos, the, uh, the fifth chapter, what is it for you, man? You know? It's going to be darkness. The, the, the day of the Lord is, is darkness and not light. So what is it for you, man? It's not going to be a good thing for everybody, man. Only the elect, man. That's you right. know? But continue. This is Habakkuk 2 and 3. It says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak mm -hmm. and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So that vision is, is for an appointed time, man. 
Everything is already set, man. This thing is, has been written, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We've already got the victory. We, we know how this thing is going to play out, man. He is go, he's, he, the Esau is going to take an L, man, a major L, you know? And, and the nation of Israel, beginning and starting with the elect, man, the one-third, we're going to win, man. That's right. You know? And then, of course, pursuing the Romans 11 and 26, overall, the whole nation of Israel is going to win, man. You know what I'm saying? But uh, uh, read that one more time. Come on. It says, uh, verse 3, it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, mm -hmm. but at the end it shall speak. But at the end it shall speak, man. And we're at the end, man. That's right. We're in end times right now. And, 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 and these prophecies, the vision, these prophecies are speaking like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It's speaking, man. You know what I'm saying? And you can see it clear as day. You right. know what I'm saying? Even these uh, uh, two-thirds that, that don't have it, they see it, man. They right. see things happening in the earth, man. And a lot of Jake are starting to, uh, uh, you know, Fear, man, get scared. You know what I'm saying? Is that it? And it says, uh, "But the but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Mm -hmm. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Though it tarry, <laughs> wait for it. It's gonna come, man. You know what I'm saying? It seems like it seems uh, uh, like it's taking a long time, but you have to understand that the Lord's time is not our time, man." He's on a different time frame than we're on, man. You know, uh, 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 I think the scripture saying, what is that, 1 Peter 3 and 8, or is it 3 and 10, 3 and 8, where it says that uh, 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 a thousand years, uh, a day, one day with, uh, to the Lord is as a thousand years to us and a thousand years to as one day to the Lord, man. So uh, 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 a day, one day to the Lord is a thousand year period to us, man. Right. So that's why things happen over dispensation of time. It seems like to us, that things are taking a long time, you know what I'm saying? But in all actuality, you know, it's been an inkling, you know, it's been like quick, you know, to the Lord, man. It's, it hadn't been that long, man. That's right. Because one day is a thousand years to us, man. You know what I'm saying? So you have to understand that, you know, when when, when these people, they'll try to say, ah, you've been saying that. They said, I know they said that to Noah back, you know, Noah was prophesying out there 120 years or so, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, and, and you know that you had people that was listening, listening and then falling off. Just like they doing these times, no new thing under the sun. Right. And then all of a sudden, scoffing and talking noise. Oh, no, you've been saying that for 100 years, man. Yeah, get, what, what are you talking about? You know, talking trash, man. Cash. Right. Right. You know, but not understanding the fact that the Lord, one day to the Lord is a thousand years, man. So 100 years is nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? So, no, you got to have that understanding. So you have some money. Uh, well, just kind of looking back, uh, you brought this up uh, about measuring the times. This is Second Ezra chapter nine verse one. He said, "He answered me mm -hmm. then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself.' And that's what we're doing, measuring the time diligently. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to see what happened in the uh, past. We're seeing what's going on in this present time, and we know what's it leading up to for future prophecy, which is like you say, uh, it's surely going to come because we're at the end. Mm -hmm. And it reads. Um, and when thou seest parts of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time that the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right. And we're seeing uh, um, a very high number of, uh, uh, they call them UFOs, but we, see, we know they're chariots. We're seeing a very high number of chariots that has been seen upon the earth, especially the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. So we know that the, it's the time where the Most High is starting to visit the earth. Mm -hmm. We know it's time that we're in the last days of the last days. But like I said, with these wars just going on, we know that it's still prophecies got to go through before we even can get to the point where it's going to be complete destruction that's going to start happening uh, uh, with World War Three. that's mm -hmm. looked like it's on the, on the rise. Mm -hmm. Okay? That it? Yeah. Okay, that, and that brings me to this right here. I'm going to bring this out here in Matthew, the 24th chapter. This is Matthew chapter 24 and verse 6. And it reads, And ye shall hear of wars and, and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And we've been hearing those wars. We've been hearing those rumors of wars. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, it's what's going on right now with, with, with Iran. It's, that's wars and rumors of wars, man. But it says, uh, uh, see that ye be not troubled. You know what I'm saying? Because, and, and, and how does, how, how do we do that? Isaiah, the brother bought it out. Isaiah 33 and 6. Not, and knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation, man. 
So the elect have have the understanding that these things must needs be, man. They gotta come. They gotta happen. Right. You know, before we get to where we're to where we're going, man. We gotta go through this first. You know what I'm saying? And it says, uh, "For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet." So, so the end is not yet. And you're gonna start seeing all these things. He's letting you know this is red light uh, writing. So it's, it's the Messiah, Yahweh right, speaking, right. and he's letting you know you're gonna see these things. But because you have the knowledge, you're going to understand, don't panic, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't get too overly excited because there, there are still things that have to uh, happen, man. We right. still have to go through the persecution, man. We still have Jake, Jacob's trouble is coming. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 the mark of the beast, uh, uh, which is the microchip, mm -hmm. that still has to be made mandatory. You know what I'm saying? So there's things, there, there's things that still have to happen before... Uh, uh, the war to end all all wars, Armageddon, man. Yeah, Revelation yeah, twelve and twelve, you know, because uh, uh, Esau is going to come down on you, especially when Mark, martial law get. Mm -hmm. You know, martial law, it's it's coming. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's prophesied. So you got to look at, you know, what I'm saying now the prophecy we're waiting on. They're major prophecies, but like I said, the end is not yet. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't be panicking and think, oh, oh, a nuke finna come blow up uh, and destroy America today, right? You know what I'm saying? America, don't get it twisted. They still got a, they, they, they're a powerful nation. Mm -hmm. You know, Iran is just not. than a hope. That's right. <laughs> Iran is just not going to run up on them by themselves. Nah, you know what nah. I'm saying? But like you say, it's the build up. It's the build up. We're starting to see things ramp up. Mm -hmm. It's not going to start dying back down. You know, through the spirit, right. we see that it's constantly getting bigger and bigger. Right. We've been seeing in the last few years proxy wars. Mm -hmm. All right. Now uh, we have seen trade wars that has mm -hmm. been popping off. Right. You know what I'm saying? All these tariffs and, and everything has been put on these different countries and, and, and stopping, you know, basically charging a whole lot of money dealing with these trade routes. But now we're starting to see uh, um, more of America and, and these nations, these the, the powerful nations getting more into to the, the scuffle, you know. Look, pushing and shoving around. Mm -hmm. But like you say, when the, when the end hit, we would know. But the thing is, we're going to be going through things. Jacob Trouble is around the corner. Right. I think that was all. Yeah, you know, well, you can, verse but seven. when you drop down, yeah, I'll go ahead and bring up verse 7. Uh, verse 7, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Right. And right. there sh If I can say, like you mm -hmm. say, nation rising up, rising up against nation. Mm -hmm. All right, you got all these Trump supporters. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They they they're getting prepared. I think what in March sometime they supposed to be preparing for for something dealing with uh, I don't know uh, the rights to the, the arm to keep yourself armed. Mm -hmm. You know a lot of those are Trump supporters. Mm -hmm. You got these things that's coming up. So you if you all do research over the, the last few years, these militia groups and things like that. All these either mics, they're prepping Man. to come if, if for a, a martial. I mean, for martial law, they're preparing for a what? Preparing, so like it, for a race war. Mm -hmm. All right, that's what these nations are going to rise up against nations. Right. Okay. So you're not going to have only the military or, or the government coming to try to take you out. Uh, you you so called black Latinos and Native Americans, but you're going to have uh, these local lower class Esau, uh, either mics coming after you. Right. All right. And Jake out here, uh, 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 BS it, man. You right. know. On some madness, uh, twerking, worrying about the club, worrying about chasing honeys, the, the chicken heads, you know what I'm saying? Smoking weed, uh, pants hanging off their ass, you know, just all this madness don't make that ain't got nothing to do with nothing, man. You know, that's what they're into, trying to chase the dollar bill, you know what I'm saying? Just things that don't matter, man. And, and you got these, like the like the, the priest said, uh, uh, hey, these Esau... Is out here prepping, man. They they have their mm -hmm. kids on the gun range at, when they're twelve, man. Like little kids, man. Right. You know, so it's it's gonna get real out here, man. You know. Uh, back in uh Matthew twenty four and seven, for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, which is World War three, man. Armageddon. You know, that's mm -hmm. the that's the that's these uh, uh these countries coming against each other, man. You know, and that and that uh uh that battle. Uh, uh, of Armageddon, that that war to end all wars, man. Right. That's what that's going into. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places, which those earthquakes are happening like constantly, daily, man, almost. Mm -hmm. Puerto Rico, man, I think it said they had like 500 uh, 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 
Uh, earthquakes and with, yeah. with, within a matter of how many did you, did you see that I, I saw yeah I saw it was it. like within a matter of like what like 10 days it was like a, a short period of time man you know so the lord is not playing and, and when you understand through the spirit put those so-called puerto ricans are ephraimites man they're israelites right. man right. down there on some madness on that on that cesare borgia and and, and that whole catholic crap you know to maximum levels down there, man. You know, just tripping, you know? Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, it says, uh, there shall be famines, which famines are happening in the earth. You know, of course, everything is going to escalate and, 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 and go to, to, to levels that you, you've never seen ever because right. this, this is going to be a one-time event. Uh, uh, and if you will, uh, unless you got something, grab that in uh, Daniel, the 12th chapter okay. for me real quick. Uh, these things are going to happen and 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 they're they're going to be like everybody says of biblical proportion. You're going to see it one time. It's not going to happen again. You know, of course, those pestilences I, I mentioned in the in the beginning of the of the of the of this lesson. You know how how uh, China is going through uh, uh, pestilences and disease right now, unknown uh, uh, sicknesses, and and all down there in Asia and the Pacific uh, islands, and they're going through it. You know, just all all different type of things are happening all throughout the earth, man. That's you right. know what I'm saying? Which is all this what we're reading right here in Matthew the 24th chapter, man. You know what I'm saying? Of those proxies that Yahushua was speaking, man. You know? So if you can bring that out in Daniel, the 12th chapter, verse 1, real quick for me. Come on. This is uh, Daniel 12 and 1. It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, and the great prince will stand up for the children of thy people. Which are the Israelites, man. Mm -hmm. It's going to get so ugly out here. Uh, uh, Michael uh, is going to have to intervene, man. That's right. You know, it's going to be ugly as hell. These you people, man. You think this is a joke, man? You got Jake out here making uh, on on social media, man, making memes and and you know just talking trash, just like it's a game, man. This is not a game, man. Right. This is life and death. This thing is serious, man. You know this Bible is 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 actually a, 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 a live book. It's alive, man. You know what I'm saying? And and the things in it, it are real, man. That's right. You know, and we're reading them and telling you what's what's gonna come. And then you got Jake out here on social media making a joke of it, man. You know. We gonna see who gonna how long you if you gonna continue to joke in these times when when these things start to happen, man. That's right. You know, but but continue on. Come on. and it says, uh, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was seen. There was a nation even to that same time. So since there was a nation, there have not been what's what's about to come has never been seen, man. Right. It's gonna be a one time event, and, and really there's no there, there's no title you can put on it. You know, you know spectacular or what this just you can't even describe the what it's going to be man you know what i'm saying it's going to be that that terrible of a of a time man That's you right. know but it says uh, uh uh it says and there should be a time of trouble a time of trouble which is jacob's trouble man mm -hmm. you know that's jacob's trouble that's what's coming man you jakes who is jake when we say jake or jacob we're talking about talking to you so-called self-proclaimed Salaki, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American and Seminole Indians, man, of right. Negro descent, man. Right. You make up the 12 tribes of Israel, man. And it reads, uh, such as was never, such as never was since there was a nation even to that time. And at that time, thy people shall be de uh, delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. And when you read in Jeremiah 30 and 7, it says that he shall be saved out of it. Which that he is talking about the elect, man. Those are the ones written in the book, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Those are the ones that's going to be saved out of it. You know what I'm saying? So it's vital to be a part of the elect. That's why we're doing what we're doing. We're, we're striving in hopes that we're part because we're prisoners of hope. We're striving in hopes to be a part of that, man. That's be right. a part of the saved. Those that's going to be saved out of it, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So we give our diligence, you know, uh, 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 to, to make our calling and election sure, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So, want to add anything? Well, I'm going to read verse 2 real quick. Okay. Uh, it yeah. says... Uh, this is Daniel 12 and, two, uh, 12 and 2. It says, And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, <laughs> you know, some to everlasting life and some to the shame of everlasting contempt. Because at one point we were all in that dust, man. Mm -hmm. We were all confused. That dust represents confusion. We were all caught up in the, in the darkness of this place, the confusion of, of America, man, because it's the most confusing pl uh, place on the planet. But it says some to everlasting life. That's the elect. That's the one third, right. man. And some to everlasting shame and contempt. That's the two thirds, man. Two -third. You know. And uh, I, I did have a quick one. Uh, like you say, uh, when you go into Matthew twenty-four around the seven verses, like you say, it would be uh, uh, there's gonna be earthquakes and, and 
uh, in diverse places, and I wanted to go into that. Uh, this is Second Ezra 16 and 12. It says, um, uh, "The earth, uh, the earth quaketh, and the foundation thereof, and the sea rises up with wet waves from the deep, and the waves of it are trouble, and the fishes thereof also, uh, before Yahweh Shai and before the glory of His power." And when you start seeing, like I say, things that's going to be erupting in, 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 here in America and around the world, this is going to basically be the, the bringing forth the show, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Power. But like I say, he works, uh, uh, he, you know, works with the king's heart and he works in the mind of men. But like I say, you don't, that's not seeing, if you don't have faith for and don't believe, like going into, uh, what is that, Hebrews 11? Uh, faith, faith and substance. Mm -hmm. So you can yeah, you, you if you don't see it, you don't believe it. But the thing is, we have that faith and we know that the Lord is working in the uh, uh the, the minds of men at this time. Mm -hmm. But like to say, you're gonna see these earthquakes and everything happening in diverse places, mm -hmm. but you're gonna have people that still they know they know we're gonna be at the end, but they ain't gonna really just have that true belief till they start seeing just pure turmoil and basically until they start seeing the bones drop and see the chariots coming right. coming, forward, coming about the sky. Right. But no clouds open. That's real talk. Right, right. Come on, come on. Some more? Oh, no, that was about it. Right. Okay. Uh, and I want to bring this one out too. Uh, uh, also dealing in Matthew 24 and 7, dealing with the, with the uh, you know, as it says, nation shall rise against nation. You know, just all these things are part of prophecies. These are all things that have to happen, you know, Prior to the end, man, you know what I'm saying, and this right. is going into that to, to those race riots as well. This is Second Ezra, chapter fifteen and verse five, and it reads, "For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands, man." Mm -hmm. So that's going into the same thing that we read in in Matthew uh, uh, twenty four and seven, "For nation shall rise against nation, man, because the the, the sword and their destruction draweth near, man." Right. You know what I'm saying? The end. That's the end. But these things have to happen. Before the end, man, you know what I'm saying? So, so uh, that one people stand up to fight against another people is is talking about th these nations, you know. You know, you might, you know, they're gonna be going at it out here, man. These it's gonna get real ugly, man. It's gonna get really ugly out here, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just want to bring that out real quick. Okay. Well, like I said, we we know, like the prophecies are still coming coming forth. Uh, a major prophecy. The major prophecy is the RFID chip. Mm -hmm. That is the mark of the beast. Okay, and if you're not uh, spiritually grounded, uh, what is that? Uh, uh, Colossians two and seven. You got to be rooted. You know what I'm saying? Be rooted and built up. If you're not, you know you can be subject to take that chip. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Even like brothers, uh, speaking for myself, first and foremost, I want to stay rooted and grounded because the thing is, if I become bugged out, I can just take that chip. Mm -hmm. And that's no way to come out of there. If you get that chip, you're bound for destruction. All right? And that's one of the things that we got to see. Everybody worried about, you know, oh, well, we're going to have we're going to war with Iran. Hey, we're, if, if you're in the spirit, you know the prophecy still got to play out. Okay? Now, that can happen over a, a, a day span where they can just say, hey, this is a mandatory. Uh, you got to take the chip. If not, basically, you know, they got a guillotine to take you out. You know, or the military, or what have you. But the thing is, we we know it's coming. Mm -hmm. You know, before the the the, the nuclear bomb start dropping. Mm -hmm. Right. And I got another one to, that's going into uh, again Matthew twenty four. This is Second mm -hmm. Ezra chapter sixteen and verse eighteen, and it reads, "The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine mm. and great death, the beginning of wars." And the powers shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Which this is Ezra's, you know, which proved that Ezra's is here because he said, what shall I do when these evils? Right. This is talking about in these times, man. You know what I'm saying? Which when you read up the the, the, the verse above it, he says, woe is me, woe is me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Who would deliver me in those days? So this is Ezra's giving a, a, a future prophecy of these last days and end times back then, man. That's right. And he saw himself. There, man. Here. So Ezra's, which proves reincarnation for you Christians, man, that don't believe or whoever don't believe, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Reincarnation is very much a part of this story, man. You know? But it says the beginnings of sorrows, man, which is what Matthew, the 24th chapter and verse 8 says. And great mourning. So it's going to, mourning is, 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 is crying and, and wailing out here just going through it, man. 
you know, great mornings, right. which is what right. we just read in Daniel, the 12th chapter, man. You know, it's going to be a one time event, man. And so it's going to be, you know, I guess you can just say great. You know what I'm saying? The Bible <laughs> says great, so I'm going to say great. That's right. <laughs> gonna be a, it's going to be great, man. You know what I'm saying? The beginning of famine and great death. Great death. A lot of people going to get put to death out here, man. You know, playing games. You jakes, man. You two-thirds. Keep playing, man. You know, the Lord ain't playing. And as you kept saying, it's the beginning. It mm -hmm. kept saying it's the beginning. It's the beginning. Right. So that's why right. we're tearing because right. you know we we're waiting for it. The end is not yet. Right. But right. we're right. We're right here at the cusp of it. Right. You know. So like I say, the Lord said, "Hey, you know, stay in spirit, right. stay in prophecy, and wait for it." Because the thing is, we know that this is basically it's gonna lead to the to the end all be all. Mm -hmm. You know. And one of like I say, we gotta stick to the understanding that prophecy. When we get when you see the mark of the beast is is is, um, is basically become mandatory or what have you, mm -hmm. or the economy collapse, that's gonna bring it forth. Right. But we, like I said, we, we're waiting. Mm -hmm. All right, we're watchmen, and that's what we're supposed to continue doing, watching until the Lord returns. Kind of, because the scriptures say this, you know, it's like the brother said, well, it's the beginnings, man. We're waiting. This is Acts fourteen and twenty two, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we. We must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the Most High. So we don't right. have to go through tribulation, you know. Much tribulation, as it says right here. So it's not going to be a, a, a you ain't going to just cruise into the into the kingdom, man. Right. You know, we're going to have to go through it, man. You know what I'm saying? And those times are upon us, but hey, those things have to happen before the kingdom. So again, you know, we're in the beginnings of these of these things, man. You know what I'm saying? Did you want to ask something? Yeah, um, this is First uh, Timothy chapter six, uh, verse twelve. It says, uh, "Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and has professed a good profession before many witnesses." And that's what we're doing. We're professing uh, 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 for uh, uh, around many witnesses. That's one reason why we're going to highways and byways. All right, and, and that's why, like I say, we. We fight for the Most High, mm -hmm. and you know, you know, in the spirit through you, how shot. Because we're supposed to continue, like I say, <laughs> we're supposed to continue and cry out loud. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're the watchmen, and we also are, are the are the uh, the mouth the mouth of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. You know, so when the prophecy and the words gets across, it comes out what his men. All sure. right, who were put on this this earth. Like in before times, and has constantly prophesied, went out and and let the people know what was up and coming. Mm -hmm. Okay, what does the prophecy mean to say before? And that's what we're doing. We we've been preaching and speaking this from uh, the elder apostle on down. Mm -hmm. What's what is coming about? Mm -hmm. I know, like I say, the 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 mark of the beast. Uh, the, the the elders been saying that for many years, mm -hmm. and we know that's coming. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's what we supposed to continue doing. Constantly, you know, don't get caught up in the you know, in the worldly things of oh, oh we, and in the jokes and the memes, stay on point. Iran as well. That that the the war with Iran, the, the apostles have been prophesying and speaking on that for many years before now, and it's it's happening. It's starting to happen now. Right. So as the scriptures say, uh, 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 and then they shall know who 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 is my mine elect. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're in those times, man. You know, so you got all these camps out here on some on some on some BS, man. You know, want to speak about the mark of the beast being spiritual, a spiritual mark, and and or or, or the missiles aren't aren't there are no missiles. It's volcanoes or, or meteors. You know, the Vatican being Babylon, all kind of madness. That all of those the, those those people that are out here teaching uh, uh, wilding out the wilds. You know what I'm saying of, of the devil man, which is basically what that is. You know what I'm saying. The true prophets are, are going to be known in these times, man. That's you know, right. the true men of the Lord. You know, beginning and starting with Apostle Tahar on down, man. You're going to start seeing who the true leaders are, which they are, man. The apostles of GMS, if you can receive it, man. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But we're in those times. You got something? Yeah, yeah kind of. Uh, this First Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, it says, For Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Okay, and like you said, that sound mind, you got to go into, oh, that's, it's good to go into meditating. Okay, mm -hmm. you know, get yourself together for self-control. That's what having a sound mind, mm -hmm. having a self-control. Because you love that what controls you. That's where that, that fire, the spirit is at. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
So that's why you're supposed to continue to stay and dwell in the truth because you got to you gotta stay grounded. Uh, right. Like it says, going back into Colossians 2 and 7, we got to be rooted and built up in them. Mm -hmm. We got to be rooted and built up in your high and your shy to stay keeping that self-control and keep that sound mind because, like I said, things are ramping up and it's not going to... I don't see it dying down anymore. You know, you may see a look drop, but it's, right. it's you know, we on the, the incline. Right. Got something, got something? Yeah, no, I'm good. All right, well, uh, yeah, you with it. Got it? Okay, no, I'm good. Um, Lord willing, you know, this was uh, edifying, you know, and like I say, brothers, we got to keep fighting, all right, because Lord willing, we those men, and we know that, you know, hey, we... <laughs> We we at the end now, so we in the home stretch. Mm -hmm. So we gotta continue fighting, keep pushing, you know what I'm saying, and, and stay rooted and built up and stay grounded. Uh, no, hey, brother, hey, the, the preset it, man. You know what I'm saying? Just stay focused, you know, keep the faith, man, keep pushing. You know, we almost out of here, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I got. Well, so, with with that, that, giving all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect, the house of David, the Bayath, Shal Dawadah. Shalom. Shalom.